guys, um, I was just going to do a little tutorial for you on the Alesis SR18 drum machine. Cliff and I use this in our show and it really like rounds out the whole, you know, duo with the drum beat. A lot of these solo piano bar um, venues are honestly kind of requiring it and before you think, oh, I'm too good for a drum machine or that's not me, um, I for years didn't think that this was something that would help. but. I live and breathe by it now during my shows and it just really frees up a lot of things for the energy level to stay during the show without me having to work so hard in my hands. Um, and this machine specifically really transitions well between, it allows you to use it as an instrument and transition between your different shows and it's, <clears throat> it's the most fluid drum machine I've found for going throughout your show, going to different songs. Uh, Cliff and I don't really use a set list, so I'm literally on the fly every night. So there's really not any room for me to program beats. Well, I could program beats, but I mean program tracks with bass and all of the extra stuff. Um, I really need something that's versatile that I can, even like if someone comes up with a request for something I've never done before, I can because I know my machine, I know my instrument. Um, I'm able to use the different um, beats that I know work for different uh, types of songs. And then I can go in there, tap in the tempo, I can dial in the tempo, can do all of this while I'm playing. I can do stuff over here. So I just want to share with you uh, this, in, this piece of equipment. Um, I know the Red Piano out in Santa Barbara really uh, prefers that the piano player use it. And uh, Cliff and I in our pink piano shows, we use it. Uh, we use it, I use it everywhere I go now. So um, I'm going to show you a little bit about that. Okay, so first things first, uh, it just goes quarter inch in. Um, I just put it main left out. Um, there is a power adapter that I cannot seem to find a good fit for. I've lost my power adapter. So I just feed it batteries every night. This is obviously, I've got this little phone stand that I uh, rigged up on the back here. You can tell this has been used a lot. And I just tape it each night um, so that it will stand up like this. Now, um, so turn it on. Now, there is a, f a foot pedal st uh, stop. You can put a foot pedal on here to transfer between the A and B patterns as well as start and stop. Um, I tried that once. I found that it was just finicky with the, maybe it was the pedals I was using, I don't know, but um, I prefer just to use my right hand because I can keep, like I said, I can keep my left hand going without having to stop what I'm doing to do what I need the machine to do. So, first things first, we turned it on. Um, you're gonna have to, let me show you, um, and by the way, we're going through a guitar amp right now, so I apologize for the sound, but it'll give you basically what you need to know about the machine. It does sound good through a PA, though. So this first, um, I'm going to go to 15 because that's like one of my main starter beats for the night. Okay, now listen. Can you hear the bass? There is a bass pattern programmed, and programmed into each one. That says bass, that says percussion, that says drums. Every night, like clockwork, I hit mute, bass. While you hold the mute down, you just hit bass and hit percussion. Trust me on that, you just want the drum patch. So there you go. For example, now this one, um, before I go into what songs they use for, each pattern has a tempo that it starts at. Um, typically, I have to dial it in, tap it in, or I, yeah. Um, so. There is, I think, I want to say there's like, this this button right here goes between all of the different patterns and it goes all the way up to 99. By the way, that battery, that says low battery, I've got, I, it takes about six, it takes six AA batteries and um, it'll start saying low battery before, I've, I've still got like four hours in my, in my machine before it actually goes dead. So that's a little annoying, the low battery thing, blinking off and on, just ignore that for now, please. Okay, so, um, the, yeah, so this is what goes between your different types of beats. I have memorized which ones I prefer. So I'm just gonna go through now all of the basic beats that I use for standard songs that would be throughout a show like ours and kind of show you just a good, like four or five, maybe six or seven different beats that would help you get through a night. Okay, so I'm gonna start with 15, whoops. You just top in 15. That gets me to this Bold Rock 1. That's the name of it. Ballad Rock. Ballad Rock. Ballad Rock. That's what that would be. So, let's say for Stand By Me. 
I, I know that we do Stand By Me in um, about 113, 115. Uh, Cliff and I enjoy going actually fi and finding out what the actual BPMs are for each song to see uh, if we're about right. Um, some of them I actually have memorized to make sure I am right because I tend to speed things up. This is a great machine to help you not speed things up. It's your little metronome, if you will. Um, so let's say we've got, I'm going to say fit 115. Now notice I'm using my right thumb to hold the tap tempo and that's allowing me to adjust my BPMs, okay? That's super important, and here's why. I show my full hand. Say, you know what? Let me um, start with. You see how I tap that in? Let me do that again. So let's say I didn't know which, you know, BPM I wanted. So I'm going to start a song. I'm doing Stand By Me. pattern A and throughout the song I can hit fill which will go into B or I can just go to B so I'm going to hit the when I get close to the end of the, the loop here. now I'm going to hit fill here. There's one, now I'm on B was too slow or I need to many many times Cliff will be like speed it up or mainly he says slow it down I've tapped it too fast so say I tap it too fast let's, let's say I tapped it in at 124 that's way too fast but let's say I did and I'm like oh lord I don't want it to stop obviously like, that would ruin the moment you don't want the crowd to notice that, that I could do this do you see how I use my left thumb and I just up and down tap it Brought it down to about 115 where I realized I should have been. When you turn on the machine, make sure you hit the mute, hold mute down, and hit bass and percussion. That's just a reminder. Now you're ready to start your show. I'm going to go through typical beats that I would use throughout a night that will get you through your entire night. And I honestly could do some more homework and add to what I use now. Um, but you know, I kind of get stuck in a rut, but like I said, this would get you through a night and so here we go So I'm just gonna go through from lowest to highest um, I don't use zero one is a great blues beat and about 135 See I tapped that in because I know how, I just kind of know I'm gonna do hit the road jack <laughs> on that one. If I go to B, I don't like that. I just use A on 01. Let's go back to This is, um, oh, by the way, this would be like a Margaritaville. Da, 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 da. Okay, so, okay, I don't like that, but the B, the B pattern does this. It's more on the one. You don't like that? On this. 15 is like a Stand By Me, which I think I've already talked about, but you tap, 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 and then this is a great... This is a great basic beat for Stand By Me. Here we start from the one. Now this feel works great. Now notice what just happened there. Okay, I'm gonna go. Okay, I'll show you when I normally hit the feel on this one. Hit the feel. I was even earlier there. 
there. So see, that's that's hard to figure out the fill. So, but that's this one's great for Stand By Me. I'd do it at 115 whenever we go. On Garth Brooks. Blame it all on my roots. We started out, we don't. And then when we get to the part where it's about to kick in, As high as that ivory tower Cool it does. I got friends That was not the right words, but you get the point. That's the beat that I used for that. So like country, um, even like uh, Amarillo by morning, we do it around 120. So it would be... Okay, so 24 is a beat that I use a lot. Like, this is probably my main beat. I would tell you this is not, I probably should branch out a little bit more, but um, 24 is great. So here, let's listen to it. And here's B. Do not hit that fill. Do not use it. Bad. Right, I'll show you what's going That one actually sounded decent, but when you go into the B, listen to this. some reason it's making the liar out of me but just don't do that for some reason it normally sounds like crap during the show but anyway so 24 is like uh, this would be brown eyed girl like a this, this one is great for rock very anything straight rock okay so now I'm gonna go into swing if you want to do like, say, let's do Sweet Home Chicago. Come on, baby, don't you want to go? I do it around 140. A is the best. Don't use B on this one. That's a good one. That's a great swing. We even do this one at... Seventy-seven. I've been giving it a little bit more punch. Don't do it. Foot loose. Cliff does the lick with the guitar, so it sounds more like the song. This is the beat we use. That's great. Okay, we'll go to the next one. All right, so we're going to do country music, Johnny Cash, that train beat. Johnny Cash Folsom, we do it at about 150. I'm gonna dial it back to about, yeah, let's just see what that sounds like. A is the best, don't use B. Also, if you dial it down, um, Country Roads would be about 225 is what we do now. Country Roads, take me home to play. There's a lot of uh, songs that go to that beat, but that's a good one. Uh, Devil Went Down to Georgia, is, I max it out at 300. That's as fast as we got. Well, Devil Went Down. Okay, so this is the dreaded dance beat. Um, I have to be honest, this is pretty cheesy sounding, but it gets you through. I'm gonna do like, say, Bruno Mars. Dun, bum, 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 bum. 116 is the BPM that it's recorded at. I always used to do it faster, but let's, for the sake of this, do it at 116. <laughs> So 
that's the A. Now, I like, that's good for, because, oh, by the way, super important. Always reach up here on this, on, I don't know where I was now, because normally I have it maxed out at the top signal, but I always dial it back just a little bit. I reach over, literally, during my show, I reach over. When I hit this 09, I just dial it back a little bit, because if you don't, this is super hot. In fact, when you're checking the sound or machine on the PA during your sound check, check this beat at the highest signal to your sound engineer so that if you were to accidentally push this through the system, you don't blow the system because this is a hot signal. Anyway, dial it back now. Back on this A. Now listen to B. B has this. Here it comes. Now, something like, uh, let me dial it up just a little bit to 125. Sweet dreams on. Oh, that seems slow, but anyway, that's a good example. Or uh, I do young man, I think young, young. young man. There's no need to feel down or say young man. Could be faster. That's a good one. Uh, I will survive is another one. I will survive is around 125. I put it about 120. So first I was afraid. I was big. Huh? What? You said you put it at 120. 128. Oh, you said 120. First I was afraid. I was petrified. Kept thinking I could never do. So and then whenever it comes in. On 09, like on I Will Survive, like about 128. I think it's 125, the original, when it kicks in, but. So this is good for dance speed, like Bruno Mars, like I mentioned, and also for disco. So for fun, uh, hip hop, and on 10 and 11, hip hop is uh, number 10, beatbox is 11, and I just tongue in cheek this stuff mostly, but. That's the beat there, um, like beatbox, dunk, da 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 Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I like to take a minute and just sit right there. Okay, the play and the stop, I don't know if you know that, look at that, that's makeup all over there. That's play, stop, A, B, and fill, those are the buttons I use, mute. When I turn it on, tap tempo, and then up here, I don't use any other buttons. Guys, that gets you through most everything. I will actually include a link or a spreadsheet uh, and a link to the spreadsheet of the songs that I do and what um, tempos I do them at, and as well as the patterns that I use. And also a link to where you can buy it. Also a link to where you can buy it. Yes, we have an Amazon influencer um, account is it called influencer Amazon affiliate account anyway if you buy this machine we get a kickback that'd be great you guys check that out as well as everything else that we have um, I wanted to show you we've got a studio here and we've got tons of recommendations for things to use uh, for studio recording stage lighting uh, just about everything even um, with uh, videography and photography all of that kind of stuff that we use we highly recommend certain products that's on our Amazon link. We will include that in this video. Thank you so much. My name is Susan Irwin Prouse. That's Cliff, my husband that's filming this. And this is Booker Bo Booker. And he's sleeping through this whole thing. Anyway, we travel the world. If you want to check us out, cliffandsusan.live. You can see where we are. Come see a show. In fact, we're headed to a show now tonight here in Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, but yeah, feel free to contact us about this machine or anything you have any questions about with what we do. We love to share what we do. And uh, happy touring out there, guys. Let us know if we can help.